dickery dickery dock. Ooh, time to beat the clock. Time for fun has now begun. Let's all play beat the clock. Beat the Clock is brought to you by Sylvania. For half a century, a quality name in incandescent bulbs, fluorescent tubes and fixtures, photo lamps, radio and television sets, radio and television tubes, and electronic devices. Now here is America's number one clock watcher, Bud Collier! <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Beat the Clock, the show where you have the time of your life playing against time for big time prizes. Now, if you'll come over here with me, we'll meet our first contestants for tonight. Incidentally, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is kind of a special night. We're having an all-Navy night. Nothing but Navy fellas and their wives and gals is all we have on our show tonight, and mostly in our audience as well. Mighty happy to welcome Uncle Sam's fine and strong arm of the Navy. Hi, what's your name? What is it? We'll say it a little stronger now. I can't even hear it. Muriel Eifer. That's much better. Is it Mrs. Eifer? Mrs. Eifer. Mrs. Eifer? What happened to Mr. Eifer? Oh, we did things to Mr. Eifer, didn't we? Hello there, Mr. Eifer. How are you, boy? Say, we got you decked out just fine, haven't we, huh? Why don't you out here while I was explaining to your wife that uh, the bonus tonight is worth $900 cash. Whenever that buzzer happens to ring or that bell rings, uh, the lady that's out at that time with her husband is the one that's going to get a chance to try for it. Might be you, can be anybody on tonight's show. Don't know where that's going to happen, but keep it in mind. Anyway, incidentally, for all of you folks who are wondering about our holdover couple from last week, they very kindly consented to skip a show, and they'll be our holdover couple for next week. So you watch if you're worrying about them. They'll be back with us, our first contestants on next week's show. How long have you been married, Bob and Muriel? Eight, Eight months. Eight months. Huh? And uh, are you planning to stay in the Navy, uh, Bob? Uh, I haven't made up my mind yet. That's a good KG answer, boy. That's all right. Much better that way, I think. Well, we have a little problem for you on the $100 clock that I think might be kind of fun for you, and that's really why we got you in the asbestos firefighting suit. It's kind of warm, isn't it, huh? A little bit. Come on, let's get you over here and get you started right away, shall we? Both of you, Mr. and Mrs. Eifert, you come over here with me. Better ask Mrs. Eifert to sort of uh, break out of this formation and stay right there, if she will. Thank you very much, Madeline. You come over here with me. <laughs> Now, you know what that is. You've seen one of those before, I'm sure, haven't you, huh? That old signal thing to help the planes land. Now, uh, we have here a sort of a, well, you might call it a yard arm on the mast or something like that rigged up there. And that's uh, uh, there for a very definite reason. I'll show your wife what it is. Your wife is going to stand over here, anywhere she wants to, on either side of this, I don't care. And she's going to toss over the yard arm a saucer. All you have to do is catch it on that little air thing there without breaking it. See, just catch it on there. See? <laughs> You just catch it on, it'll sit on there, you see? Then, without taking it off there, make a little room somehow, and then she's gonna toss a cup over, and you gotta catch the cup there, too. You must have on this little signal thing, a uh, cup and a saucer unbroken in order to beat the clock. You understand the problem? Now, if either one breaks, brush it off, and they start over again. I'll keep telling her which one she has to toss, see? So she tosses first the saucer, then a cup, soon as you got a cup and a saucer unbroken, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. You understand what it is? You toss it over that yard arm right there, see? Okay, now let's take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. 55 seconds, and just for safety's sake, and to keep you kind of snug and out of danger here from any flying crockery, let's put the mask on here, shall we, boy? <laughs> That's it. You hold it up with the one we have so you can see what you're doing. Are you ready, Mr. Diaper? Get a hold of the crockery there. You ready? Go! All right, I'm talking. I'll get a couple. You find out a lot of things about people like that, you see, in homes where the wife is accustomed to throwing crockery at the husband. There's no problem. Uh, <laughs> Bob and Muriel, that was real good, believe me, because when I was trying this afternoon, we were dropping cups and saucers all over the map. You should have seen the piles of crockery. We had to sweep up after it. We got it, but only after breaking a few in the, in the course of it. You did all right. 